If you want to hear any lore, if you want to hear any lore whatsoever, make sure you're in the Discord because Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday of any given week, I will ask a question and the first person to get the question right gets to pick the lore for the week. Now, this week's lore is on Eridesh. Like I said, I wanted to kind of go back and I don't think I've ever talked about Eridesh. If I have, it's super early on and I have to redo most of that lore anyway. I have to clip it out and put it somewhere. I've been, I actually have like eight or nine videos worth of lore that have to go out from like when Olive and I had first started the show. I want to say there's maybe a, anywhere from nine to 11 videos that I have edited and ready to rock. Uh, but Eridesh, the leader of Shady Sands, founded by him in 2142 and is the father of Tandy. He's the founder and the first president of the NCR. Now, I get all of my lore off of fallout.fandom.com, and the wiki uh, describes him as an honest man who cares deeply for the citizens of Shady Sands and the NCR. Originally from Vault 15, now, I didn't know this, uh... I didn't realize that, I mean, I knew early on they had ideas for the social experiments because in the Fallout Bible, they're there. And uh, Necropolis is built out of a vault that the door didn't shut all the way. But Vault 15, the social experiment, was to have people of very diverse cultures all inside. And I never really thought about it till I was doing this. When you meet Eridesh for the first time, one, that's a cool name. It's obviously not something that, like, it's not uh, Bob Johnson. Like, it's not some normal, everyday, average white people shit. He has an accent. And this is also this is also 60-some years after the bombs have dropped. So he was probably raised by somebody in his vault that had an accent, surrounded by people with accents. So the fact that he has a different twang or twinge in his voice i really like that small little detail whether it was done on purpose or not i enjoy it but like i said he comes from vault 15 which in in the wiki is even described as vault 13 sister vault but after a horrendous raider attack he left the vault looking for a new place to live now in 2142 uh he assembled a small yet humble community of settlers and he used a geck to start up shady sands he leads the town with a steady hand, even if he has instilled some xenophobic attitudes to the town folk, which I think is completely reasonable and understandable. He's used to the safety and the comfort of a vault. So now that he's out in the wastes and maybe something like a, a scorpion that he's only ever seen a picture of, he gets out here and a scorpion is maybe the length of my, my middle finger to my thumb, like six, seven inches, like not much. Like the, the uh, what is it called? Kyle, what's it called, the, the length of your palm? Is there a name for that? Uh, I don't know. You know how like your wing, your your wings, your arms from, from middle finger to middle finger is your wingspan? No? Okay, no. well, whatever. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking maybe like, maybe like, I don't know, like you're used to seeing a picture of a scorpion and it's, this big and you walk outside and it's five and a half feet long longer with the tail because the tail curls up and like why wouldn't you be sheltered but because of the geck they can they can have uh, irrigation they can grow crops they have the walls of shady sands even when he first meets the the vault dweller he's very reserved after the vault dweller took care of shady sands rad scorpion problem and saved Tandy from the cons, he opened the community, leading to more expansion in the future of the NCR. He, along with Seth and Tandy, would later go on to find the found, the NCR. I believe it's, let's find out together, shall we? But I believe it's 10 years after the game ends. I typed in NCR history. NCR was founded in Dayton, Ohio in 1884 and acquired by AT&T in 1991. Hold on. They're, they make registers and whatnot. This says on the wiki for the New California Republic, a uh, trial council government formed in 2186, voted as, as, voted as official republic in 2189 under the leadership of Eridesh. So 40 years after Shady Sands was founded, he went on to uh, start. And I, I think I've done an episode on Tandy. I'm pretty sure I have. Uh, and she goes on to be president for like her entire lifetime. 
And uh, there's actually one of my favorite lines of dialogue in New Vegas is when you ask Caesar why he doesn't like the NCR. He's like, because they say that I'm a tyrant, but their president served for her entire life. It's not a president. It's not a dictatorship. After the events of Fallout 1, inspired by the Vault Dweller, Aradesh and Seth began looking for Vault 13 in search of the Vault Dweller. They disappeared and then were proclaimed dead. That's really all there is on Aradesh. Let me just double check to make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, there's really not much. He's he's uh, one of the first characters that you meet in the game that isn't uh, a Dweller, isn't uh, Jacarin, Jorserin. And he's the first character that you meet that is a, ta a talking head character. And I don't know if I've ever said it on here before, and I think a lot of people that know the early Fallout games already know, but these were, these talking heads were made out of clay, and they're like stop motion. There's a picture of Eridesh on screen, most likely. So you'll see him if you're watching on YouTube. You can, you can do a, a thing called Tell Me, Tell Me About in, in the first Fallout game. Um, which is really cool because you can say, you can say like one line things to him. You can say to him, uh, one line, there's actually no spaces, like spaces don't work in the tell me about feature of Fallout 1. So you can say something like Aradesh and he'll say, I am he, I lead this humble town of Shady Sands. If you ask him about the hub, he says, go talk to Seth about that. He'll know more than I. If you ask him about his daughter... Where is it? Tandy. He, he says, she is my daughter. It is she that makes this hard life worth living. Uh, if you ask him about the Vipers, he'll say, be careful with such as these raiders who are fanatically religious can be quite dangerous. No one knows here. Wait, no one here knows of their base. Sorry, it's very, very small text. Uh, then there's one that says, Junktown. Junktown lies south of here. Their merchant occasionally comes to trade, but not often. A fort in the American Southwest named after Aradesh, mentioned by Ulysses during the courier's trek through the Divide. Uh, and then just for like on the wiki, it says appearances. He's also on the $5 bill. There's, there's absolutely a picture of the $5 bill and one of the water. I believe it's the water fountain or maybe it's a mill. I think it might be a mill. It's, it's a loading screen for fallout one. It's like the loading screen when, when you look at shady sands, um, he's on the $5 bill. Aradesh appears in fallout as a talking head. He is mentioned by Tandy in fallout two and appears on the $5 NCR bill. He's also mentioned by Caesar in Fallout New Vegas and in Fallout 4 on the radio broadcast while exploring Conrad Kellogg's memories. Carl, you have anything you want to say about Aradesh? He's a cool guy. <laughs> Thanks for playing along, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's actually like the end of this, this lore book, too. This is episode 135 to 176. Um... I'm going to take a swig of this water real quick, and then Kyle and I... Oh, that's lore. And then Kyle and I are going to get into the next topic. 